license fee is the least worst option. Do you still subscribe to that view? There are, um, there are issues um, uh, with uh, 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 the license fee. Um, it's regressive. In some ways it's considered anachronistic um, because, um, uh, and there are other countries adopt other mechanisms. So it is imperfect. Now, I'd actually go one step further and completely defund the whole operation, as you know, but what do you think, Adam Brooks? Um, I agree with you, Dan. I think the BBC has shown its bias Brexit mm -hmm. uh, with the Boris bashing, mm -hmm. uh, the trans issues. I, I don't think the BBC understands how to resonate with the whole of the UK and the population. Uh, I think they're run by woke, um, woke people. I think they're out of touch. Um, what gets me, Dan, is that I have to pay for my, mm. for, for my Sky TV. I watch, I watch channels like this through my Sky TV box. Yet I don't hardly ever watch BBC um, programming or, or content, but I have to pay for that in a licence fee. The system is outdated. It, it's wrong. It, it punishes the elderly. Um, and as we see, the people that end up in prison are normally women because they're at home all day. Um, something's got to change. I think it's very outdated. And um, yeah, Ashley, do you agree with me when I, when I describe the BBC as the British bashing corporation? I think what's tricky with the BBC from a news and political standpoint is the left think it's very right wing and the right think it's very left wing. So probably, I think impartiality is Please very hard. Please don't tell me we think they're in the middle. Cause no, that, no, I don't. I don't. But I but also not. think impartiality is a left. very difficult thing to achieve. So are they on the left? I, I'm not going to get into that. But why not? What, what I love about why, why the BBC, not? Dan, what <laughs> why, no, why won't you get into that? Why don't you just admit the BBC is fundamentally a left-wing organisation. I don't believe I think it, it would be is. much better if I we were all I honest. Really, I really don't believe you, it is. OK, why do you think they order so many copies of The Guardian when no-one out there, no-one at home buys The Guardian? No-one does. The Guardian. Well, Can you're one of read very, that. very few people. Even I look, read it look, occasionally. I, look, I think um, <laughs> I do the laugh. BBC, for 44p a day, and by the way, I'm not, I'm, I have other issues with the licence fee, but... 44 p a day, you get BBC One, two, three, CBC... I don't three. want that! Dur OK, yeah, but th fair I enough. I don't but During want lockdown, that. I think we really saw, like, what an amazing service... No! When they no, they were absolutely what? appalling during talking, lockdown. I'm they not talking... I'm not talking about the news. I'm not talking about the news and politics. I'm talking about the fact that they, out of nowhere, put on an education programme to help children who are missing Because they've school. got... Shed loads they of have, our money. They have national and local radio. We've just um, all watched Happy Valley, like an amazing piece of drama. That think of like all I don't the employment it. for British people. I don't However, want any of those things you've just spoken about. My worry is, as Adam said, yes, the BBC does tend to um, to, to um, take a left wing stance. On no, it it targets um, pensioners, women. And vulnerable people who aren't able it to does. pay. But, but the, old the but alternative could be that the government could support the BBC financially. And given, well, no, um, you know, no, rich The government Sharp, supporting it, that means that is we support it. If you want to pay for the BBC, money. pay for it. Because that's then the gonna era be that we live in with streaming. Then there's and be Suzanne even Evans, the issue that I have with all of this mm. is that I find it absolutely arcane that in this country, if you want to watch GB News on your terrestrial television uh, via Freeview, for example, you have to pay your BBC licence fee. I, I never that. watch yeah. the BBC. Uh, yeah. And Not I don't Happy feel... Valley. No, I didn't, I didn't watch, watch it. I haven't seen that I, I yet either. But... Hi, so what's wrong with you? you? But, but, okay. Amazing TV. So, you know, I've changed my view completely on this. I used to work for the BBC as a freelancer. I used to be a passionate supporter of the BBC licence fee. I yeah, do but they've agree. changed. They've, they've changed enormously. I do agree with Ashley when she says it's value for money. You get all those TV channels, you get five national radio stations, you get the World Service, yeah, you get the website. But I don't website, want their view of, of the world. Exactly, but this is my point. I think the BBC is technically very good value for money. So let's put it to the test. Why should you force people? to pay for yeah. it. Surely if it's that good, people can make the choice. And they should be able to choose what they want to pay for. I like the idea of a for. sort of Spotify subscription so that those that want to pay can. Absolutely. And those who don't have the but funds totally, to or don't but want actually, to I have to watch adverts. I completely agree with that. I completely agree with that. When I say defund the BBC, mm. I'm not saying that the BBC should go. I think it should have to survive oh. like the rest of the media does. And what that would do is it would democratise the organisation. It would mean they couldn't just ignore the 50% of or the 52% of us who support 
Brexit or who voted for Brexit and just dismiss us. They couldn't just dismiss anyone over 50 as being old and they don't give a damn about us anymore. So for me, I genuinely feel like the BBC could survive, mm. but it has to be prepared to the, take... The other thing that I think is fundamentally Alma? wrong is the massive amount of intimidation you get if you haven't got a Revolted. TV licence and you don't watch the telly. Mm. Some of you will know I'm converting a barn in Shropshire. Yeah. It is literally a barn. When I registered the address with the local council, the first piece of mail I got was a threatening oh, letter from yeah. me. Totally. And they keep be before coming. I moved into my new, before I moved into, the, in, into my new house, uh, and there was no TV in there for many, many weeks. You know, I already have the BBC mm -hmm. sending debt collection agencies to me. But they are a despicable yes. organisation. They terrify people. Mm. They warp the country with what they're doing.